today's topic is transradial approach for addressing the internal carotid artery stenosis. Internal carotid artery stenosis a treatment is well established. End arterectomy, that is carotid end arterectomy, is being done since many decades. And since last one and a half decade, there is another alternative in form of carotid artery stenting. And most of the cases have been done through the groin. Today, we will discuss our technique which we have developed to address the internal carotid artery using the contralateral radial approach. Tift man and his group has already given a beautiful technique to the world in form of ipsilateral transradial technique for addressing the radial artery stenosis which has already been published in Keth Cardiovascular Intervention last year. We have developed the contralateral transradial approach. It means that for addressing the right internal carotid, we are using the left radial approach and for addressing the left internal carotid, we are using the right radial approach. How to enter the right internal carotid through the left? It is very easy because you enter the arch of aorta and the right common carotid angle with the arch is very favorable using the regular diagnostic catheter maybe right jet keys or even the tiger diagnostic catheter you can cannulate it and once you cannulate the common carotid you can always pass an extra stiff amplars wire extra stiff amplars wire is to be parked in preferably in the right external carotid artery and you can remove the catheter, you can remove the regular sheet and on it you have to negotiate and advance the, the 90 centimeter peripheral sheet, 6 French sheet, thermopinacle or shuttle cook sheet or even the cordis sheet and you have to cross over uh, the, the, from the left subclavian you have to enter the arch and then to the right common carotid. Technically at times it can give you some challenges particularly when the catheter enters the arch and then you have to enter the right common carotid there may be a tendency to flip it and then you have to give a slow corkscrew movement of the guide and then pull your dilator back and slowly you can slide it. You can also use a sort of telescoping method. And once the sheath is part in the common carotid artery deep in, just below the bifurcation, then the job becomes very easy. You can inject, define the internal carotid artery and block anatomy, and then the same standard technique can be performed. You use the protection device of your choice, you can park it above the block, dilate the lesion and stent it using the stent of your choice, the self-expanding stent which are being used for the carotid, any stent of your choice. Post dilatation, if need arises with 4 mm or maximum 5 mm balloon and then you can go for the check shoot for the end result and the job is very easy. If you are supposed to address the left internal carotid block, then it becomes a little bit tricky because angle of left common carotid from the arch of aorta is little bit acute. So sometimes the regular right jet kids catheter is it fails to calculate the left common carotid. You may have to use the Simons, Simons 1 catheter. Sims 1 catheter which is being used by the radiologist, interventional radiologist friend is a wonderful design catheter 
and you can use it to cannulate the left common carotid artery. Sometimes even the tiger catheter can be good and surprisingly sometimes the left Jenkins catheter can also be very good to cannulate the left common carotid artery. Once it is done, then you have to pass extra stiff and plus wire through it to park it in the left external carotid artery. This is difficult because there will be a tendency for the catheter to flip down in the descending area. You have to be very careful, you have to go millimeter by millimeter or centimeter by centimeter very slowly you have to park it. Once it is properly parked, you can remove the catheter and the regular small sheet and cannulate it with a regular 90 centimeter carotid sheet. Again, you might have to use the telescoping, the, the, the dilator after reaching a particular point in the ascending aorta can be withdrawn and the sheath can be advanced over the wire slowly. If it fails to advance or if there is a tendency for the extra stiff implant wire to fall down, then remove the dilator, use right Jenkins catheter as a dilator at the place of dilator and enter the right jerkin catheter into the common carotid, left common carotid and slide the sheath over the right uh, jerkin catheter into the common carotid artery. Once it sits into the common carotid artery properly just below the bifurcation, the procedure is as easy as if you are doing from the femoral artery. Same technique, the protection device, pre-dilatation, stenting, post-dilatation and jack shoot and that's it. We have done as of now 20 cases using this technique which has not been described in the literature as of now and we are trying to refine it and we are trying to make it very simple so that the beginners or even the medium seniority operators can use it with a lot of confidence without much of the difficulty. Thank you.